Hey guys, welcome back. We are so excited for today because we've never done a Q&A and we decided, I actually decided to, to, tell him, <laughs> to do one. So we put it on our Instagram and here we are. I'm gonna do a Q&A for you because never ends now. Go check it out. Alrighty. Q&A. Gotta find the question. Okay, here we go. Thanks for everyone who asked. You yeah, were excited. We were excited to see questions come in. We like actually felt like, we were just like oh my gosh, people actually want to hear from us. <laughs> okay. Okay. So first question is, what is both of your advice in choosing a spouse and accepting your own and their flaws and differences? Okay, that's a very good wow. question. Wow, what, what a one to start I off know, with. I know, right? You can go first. Me first. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Um, how to find a spouse, is that what it's asking? No. Okay. Well, yeah, like choosing a spouse. And accepting his or her own flaws. Um, I'll kind of answer it backwards. I'll start with the accepting your own and their flaws. So, it's probably more important to accept your own flaws first. Um, it's just about impossible to love somebody else if you don't love yourself sufficiently first. So, that, uh, that would be my first bit of advice. The way that I personally have found that is through um, religion, through just knowing that I am loved by a loving Heavenly Father and by a Savior Jesus Christ. Um, so that has a lot to do with it and being comfortable in your own skin, you know, nobody's yeah. perfect. You just don't put unrealistic expectations on yourself. The less expectations you can have yourself, probably the better off you'll be. Um, I think, sorry, I just want to add mm -hmm. on to that before we move on. I think also a very important thing about accepting your own flaws. Once you do that, I know from personal experience, like if I don't accept my own flaws, which I like try to be perfect, which is like so silly because it's impossible. But when I'm trying to do that, then I'm a lot more critical of Drake because it's like I'm yeah. mad at myself for not being good enough. And so then... Since I'm focusing on the negative of me, then I focus on the negative of him, and it's just not a good combination. So exactly like you said, prayer, so amazing. Pray to figure out like who you are, who you are to God, how Christ can help strengthen your imperfections, and then know that since you're imperfect and God loves you, like they're gonna be imperfect and you can love them. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's all, it's all a big, learning thing long-term relationships especially marriage are a lot more designed to promote learning your own learning probably than anything else mm -hmm. i would say um i had another thought but i don't want to forget it sorry Gosh, I interrupted. I no it's okay so yeah there's a I'll just move on to the next one. Okay, so I can, I think I have an answer for this. So for choosing a spouse, I think the most important thing is you have to figure out what you want in your life. And if that spouse, if like you're going to choose them, if they're going to fulfill that for you. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I love Drake so much is because like what I wanted out of life, he wanted out of life. And... You know, like during both of our dating lives, there were great people with great standards, great morals, like all these things that we could have ended up with. But ultimately it's like, he loved to travel. He was loving the same things I wanted, like dogs. My two dogs are playing right here. Yeah, the camera tips over that. <laughs> you know, and it's like just little things like that, that we both love. It's like, we love adventure, we love camping, we love the same similarities we love like our religion and all these things so it's like the life i wanted was the life he wanted so it was easier to make it together yeah i don't know if i have much additions to that um just i think it's important to understand that any just about any two people can make it work if they are dedicated enough to each other and to the goals and the, the things that they have hey 
out of the way. Oh, that was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> See you later, puppies. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is kind of long, sorry. But I hope that helps. That is actually from my cute buddy music video. Oh, I love you. Okay, next question. What are you going to school for? I'll answer first. I'm not going to school anymore. <laughs> I realize like that's just not for me, which is something that was so hard for me to come to terms with because I think, you know, just growing up in society, it's like, yeah, you need to go to college, but no, you, you don't. don't. Need to go to college. You know, I love doing YouTube. I love doing my job and social media. And so that's where I'm at. <laughs> For me, I said you don't need to go to college unless you do. Shh. <laughs> we didn't think this through. Anyway. I know. If uh, I locked them out, they'd just cry. Yeah, probably. It's um, fine. But uh, you don't need to go to college unless you do. I want to be a doctor, so I have to go to college. And I have to go to school after college, and I have to go to school after that. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Yep. Gonna save lives. Okay, this is a good one. One, who are your favorite superheroes? I think my favorite is Black Widow. I think she's so cool. And Captain America is just such a good guy. Who's your favorite? My favorite? I don't know. I was gonna say Captain America too, because he. Like, that was my first response because I like how strong he is and his beliefs and his morals, yeah. which are really cool. But honestly, I think if I was a superhero, I would probably be Tony Stark. Tony Stark, Like, yeah. super snarky, probably yeah. mostly oh, conceited, yeah. making jokes all the time, making light of serious situations. But I feel like Iron Man has pretty solid, like, he has low morals, but he sticks to them very well. Yeah. You know? So. <laughs> Okay, well, Iron Man with high you kind of are on the second part of this. It says, question two, if you two can have one superpower, what would it be? Hmm. Okay, I know. Okay, mine would be either to fly or to teleport, so then I can go anywhere in the world that I want to go. <laughs> yes, mine is similar to that, just a different way of uh, accomplishing the same goal. That's a big part of marriage, by the way. You all have the same goal, but you're definitely going to have different ways to yep. achieve it. So my <laughs> way to achieve the same goal is super speed. I've thought about this long and hard and I would love oh, to have I super speed. That. So I can just <laughs> run anywhere I want. I could run across oceans on water if I needed to, to get to wherever we were going, right? Also, um, to like have my eyes work really fast and like read textbooks really fast and um, that kind of stuff. Like super <laughs> speed covers it all, you. it'd be perfect. <laughs> okay. This says, what advice do you have for someone considering a mission? Go. <laughs> thousand percent, just go for it. I always wanted to go on a mission since the time I was like 14. I'm actually literally writing a book about my mission right now because that's how much I loved it. So, go on a mission. One second, let me see if it's still recording. Okay, yep, it is. Okay. All right, perfect. We're uh, getting this figured out. Oh, the darn dogs. Yeah, we're, we're figuring this out. Our family's trying to call us. It's Sunday, so that's why I'm in my pajamas <laughs> because I took a nap. But anyways, right. yes, back on track. Go on a mission. You'll never, ever regret it, I feel like, in my personal opinion. Yeah. My advice is a little more, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, technical, maybe. <laughs> There's a document um, called or a booklet, probably is a better word for it, called uh, Come Follow Me, is that what it's called? No, no, not Come Follow Me. Preach My Gospel. Preach My Gospel, thank you. That <laughs> one is the one specifically for missionaries. So, um, people that are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints will be familiar with these terms. Otherwise, if you've got questions, let us know. But uh, Preach My Gospel is the only book in like all of church history, from my own understanding, that was written, co-authored by the prophet at the time, and all of the 12 apostles. So that's and huge. The oh, and the presidency. So the, all fifteen. All fifteen men that lead the church. This is the only time they've ever all worked together on one document, one book. 
is come follow. Oh, gosh dang it. Preach my gospel. Preach, Preach my, my gospel. gospel. Yeah, um, study that. That yeah. will help you. It'll give you confidence. everything that you need to know from what to teach, how to behave, how to work with um, members of the church on your mission. That'll be the greatest prep. So if you read that and then you're like, okay, this sounds awesome, then you're good to go on mission. Otherwise, it takes much time to prep yourself before you go. Mm -hmm. Another thing with that, I feel like so important write down why you wouldn't go and then write down why you would go and for me personally all the reasons why i wouldn't go were so like temporal i was like well then like i won't be able to play volleyball and i'll have to you know be back and behind in school and it was like all these things that's like you're always gonna have time to do that, but you're not gonna have this opportunity to go on a mission when you're 18 or 19, before you're married, before you have kids, like, and just go and have this wonderful life-changing experience to serve the Lord. So, I highly, highly recommend. I freaking love being a missionary. I would go back. Like, I'm so happy I'm married to you, obviously, but like, I would go back. <laughs> Maybe with you. Let's go Me together exactly. one day. That's the plan. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. If you would have a chance to go back to the day you met and started working for the Tannerites, would you do it all over again? Thousand percent. Thousand percent. So I actually met the Tannerites when I was eight years old. They moved into my neighborhood and we all went to church together. I babysat for them a few times and like my mom was in primary and nursery in our church and watched them like grow literally <laughs> and so <laughs> they're already like a family to me and even now working for them and our relationship we have like that is like I love my job and it's like a great source of income but above everything else I just have the best relationship with all of them and that is something you could never sacrifice you can never give that up and so if somebody told me like five years ago that this would be my life I'd be like are you freaking serious <laughs> like I would not believe them but I love it and I would totally keep doing it mm -hmm. I I don't work for nearly as much anymore but I would definitely work for them again if priorities in life wasn't taking me in other directions, I would definitely be with them all the way. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's somebody DM'd me and said, what is your job? So this is kind of a segue to this. So I am a video producer for the Tannerites YouTube channel. So I film and I direct and I come up with the ideas and the storylines and stuff along with Johnny and Sarah and the kids. Like, it's not just me, but that's what I do, and it's so fun and so fulfilling, and I absolutely love it. What's your job, babe? My job? My job is to be your husband. Um, <laughs> no, I really don't work that much. Um, okay, I will to, answer this. One to he two. works so hard. <laughs> Let me tell you, he works so hard. He's like, I don't have a job. Because he goes to school from literally 8.30 a.m. you leave, and you get back at 6.30 school that whole time. And he volunteers at doctors clinics and he's on student government at his college and what else do you do you i do a little bit of acting for the tanner right he does act for the videos um yeah i'm associated with a non-profit organization that oh helps yes kids whose parents or family has cancer so, so when he says he doesn't do anything so i don't do anything i don't work he does so much. You're amazing. Well, I just don't do anything that makes us any money. So you can't really call it work. That is hard work. <laughs> I was working hard. All right, that's all the questions. Wow, that was so fun. I'm so glad that you guys care so much. And I hope that we answered it. If you need more, call yeah. us, <laughs> text yeah. us, DM us. We'll always be open. Um, it was fun. We really appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Remember, life, life is, is out, out there, there, so go, go live it. it. Have a good one.